Hey guys, it's Killsmith here. I'm fairly new to Zeusing. I only have a couple hundred hours Zeusing. Uh, I've been in a couple Milsim units though, in and out. So I know basically what I'm talking about, <laughs> a little bit at least. And I've been watching the big names, you know, like Luton and Liru and Serensic on YouTube for a couple years now. And one thing I've noticed is that there's no real clear video online of how to actually set up your own Zeus operation, both with and without mods, and doing your own private stuff and doing public stuff on a public official Bohemia Zeus server. So this first video I'm going to do is going to be how to set it up on your own using the Eden Editor. You can connect to the Eden Editor via single player menu, or if you're in the vanilla area, uh, vanilla menu, sorry, you just click on the editor right there. Uh, we're going to do Altus because it's always overused and easy to load. Everyone's familiar with it, and there's no big issues with uh, you know what's going on there. Everyone's very familiar. It's a fairly simple task. There's only a few settings you need to tweak. Um, again, one of these things, you know, a couple of these things, I didn't know at all. So the very first time I tried to create missions, they uh, flopped or failed, you know, because of stupid things that I should have known uh, that no one else told me. So I'm hoping to help mitigate that with you guys. So I'll pick a little town real quick that we can try to uh, get set up in uh, Cadillacy. Boom. Perfect. Right, my textures are still loading in. There we go. First thing you'll do is you'll pick anyone. Uh, you can pick any Op4 independent or civilian to be uh, the player. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but the red ring around this means that it is a player. So you can double click. Correct, it is player. So, role description. Right here, we're going to put Zeus. This will be. Oh, my caps lock is on. That's always fun. I'm going to put Zeus. Again, this is the multiplayer role description. When you see it in the lobby, it'll be right above the uh, name once you click your name in a slot. Variable name, though, this is the important part. You can call it whatever you want. Your name, Bob, one letter, G, five, I don't care. It's just the unique variable name tied to this particular unit. So from here, if you're going to be putting in any of your friends and they want to play with you, you'll just add, I like to put them in separate squads, you know, whatever ones you want. All you need to do is click on playable, make them playable. Helicopter pilot, whatever. So these individuals that I'm placing down represent a slot on the server that people can join. Now with different techniques you can do, you can change, it doesn't matter what these guys are when they start. If you guys want to place down an arsenal, they can load in whatever they want, or you can put down supply boxes and they can change their loadout. But that's all advanced stuff you can do in the Zeus interface. This is just how to set it up. So we'll just do two for now. You can place virtually unlimited men down, or sorry, slots down, depending on how your server can take it. So from here, we're going to then go to the right side in the systems section. Uh, if you don't see that, backspace, toggling backspace does that. Um, changes your uh, HUD, turns it off and on. You may or may not have known that, just a cool little trick. From there you go to Game Master. You can place this anywhere, it's a hidden um, widget on the map. The important thing right here though is Owner, right here. Unit with access to the Zeus interface. Um, you can do the object's variable name, player UID, or use you know pound sign admin logged or pound sign admin voted to give access to the server admin. So that way it changes whoever the actual admin is. Um, if you guys are doing mods, this section is really important. You're going to change this to all add-ons, including unofficial ones. That way, all the mods that you load up in the Zeus interface will load. Since we're doing vanilla, we're just going to do all official, and that'll be just fine. So, oh, I didn't put my name in. So this owner name right here <laughs> is going to be the name of the variable. So mine was Killsmith. If you guys noticed, we exit out. Variable name, Killsmith. Caps are important. Killsmith. So... You can do any any combination, again, of the name. It doesn't have to be your actual profile name. It can be called Bob, whatever you want. Um, I just know there's no spaces allowed in this section up here. So, using that. Now, the other important thing we're going to do is mess with the attributes. Technically, right now, you could start the mission, and it would be a nice, you know, uh, single-life mission with no respawn. But that's not as fun. So we're going to go to multiplayer under these same system settings. Respawn position. 
lay down that widget, double click it. Important thing is what side. So it's defaulting the leading side uh, for PVP, I guess. We're going to change this to blue four since our friends are blue four. I like to name mine the way I know which, which respawn point is which. So we'll just call this home base. Boom, right there. Now home base is a respawn right there. This widget's there. This doesn't matter where you place. This does. This moving the respawn position will actually change. You know, the digits in the bottom left right there, you'll be able to see this will change exactly where it's at. So you want to be careful where that goes. You can change altitude as well by holding alt. If you want to respawn on the second level of a building, we place that inside there. But, you know, that, that complicates things. I just like to put it on the base level and they can get to wherever they want from there. Uh, but if you're doing anything with mods and you're trying to put, you know, a ship up in space, uh, but in orbit and you want to spawn up there, that's how you mess with that. So that is all saved. Now, speaking of saving, we're going to go to Scenario, Save As, Multiplayer Missions, Vanilla Altus Zeus. Have this one pre-saved, so we're going to, we're going to do is we're going to save over it, or if you want to make a whole new file, um, you can call it whatever you want, but you want to go to Multiplayer Missions. That way it's in the right folder, um, and it's all set and ready to go for you there. We're just going to overwrite this one. Once it is saved, it will automatically do a auto save every five minutes for default. You can up or up that timer or lower it depending on what you exactly want to do. I like to keep mine about five minutes. It's nice and handy. It doesn't get in the way. It doesn't overload anything. What we're going to do now is go to attributes because this mission file is still not quite playable yet. We're going to go to multiplayer. You can call a summary, whatever you want. Um, doesn't matter. Top from the top though, we're going to go to game type, scroll down, and you'll see Zeus. It'll match that up, make it easier. You know, snare type shown on the server browser and the loading screen. It's that uh, section on the server browser where you can see what exactly is playing. Summary, we'll just call it Zeus testing. This is the summary that you'll see in the actual lobby. You can see there in that description. Now, importantly, respawn. You can call it disable if you want to do a strict one life. Or you can do respawn a custom position, and we can use our fancy little respawn point that we made. Um, from here, we'll do select respawn position, because if you're placing more than one down, you want them to be able to fix, uh, or sorry, choose which one they want, and then respawn loadout. I like placing that down and checking this box in case they do want to put the loadouts widget down and pick which ones they want to do. You can always just give them one option if they want. It's just a good option to have. Respawn delay. I like to give it a few seconds because I'm a jerk. I usually do about three or four, depending where my cursor lands. Um, that way it's not an instant respawn and people aren't popping in and out and uh, lagging the server with that. Revive mode. I do enable for all players for small missions. Um, it's super easy that way. That way everyone can pick each other up. If you have a large group, you know, 10 or more, you might have one or two designated medics and then you would choose control by player attributes. And then from here, you would choose Required Trait Medic. But since we're doing super easy for your friends, probably not, not you know new to Zeus, you have a small group, I like to do First Aid Kit and Medic Kit right there for required items. You don't have to require any items if you don't want to. Uh, it's just you know, an option, but I like doing that at least. It gives it some semblance of uh, control. Revive Duration, it's up to you. I do 10. That way it's, you know, a little bit of a challenge when you're a firefight, you know, you got to be tactical about pulling your dude out instead of making it, you know, three seconds and then instant bringing people up. Medic speed multiplier, two times or one and a half is what I like to do. You can scroll, change that however you want. We'll just go back up to route two. Yeah. Force respawn duration, three seconds. You can change it to wherever you want. Incapacitation mode, I like to keep it basic for right now. This is be vanilla basic. I just dragged out to five minutes. That way people have plenty of time to be picked up in case they, you know, need to be picked up and rescued. Gives it more of that dynamic mission feel. So we'll click OK right here. Going to click Save. Perfect. Last thing I'm going to show you is I don't know if you ever placed stuff down in the public Bohemia official servers. If you're placed a building down, you notice there's a little yellow tag there. Um, and that is because it is a live interactable object on the Zeus end. If you add something in in the Eden editor side of this, Structures out this airport, airport control tower. Boom, super easy right here. See, it's a little bit different looking in the Eden editor if you guys aren't familiar with it. Little square right there. So normally there's a big obnoxious circle, yellow thing. So if you're building custom areas in a live zoo shop, it can get really tedious unless you have mods to clean those up, which we're doing vanilla right now, so we'll, we're not. 
So I'll place that down there so you can see the difference once we go back into the mission. From here, you can click place an error in single player and test it out. Most of the features will be available. However, you won't be able to test out any multiplayer respawns or dying or anything like that. So what we're going we're to do is we're going to save, we're going to exit, and we're going to open ourselves up a new multiplayer mission file. And we're going to give this a full uh, test on that swing through. Gotta love the uh, Southern Altus luck right there. All right, so we're going to multiplayer server browser. We're going to go to host server right at the very top. Call it whatever you like. You, I like to test on LAN normally, but if you want to test and have your friends get on, you can go internet, you know, do port forwarding right there, put a password if you want. It doesn't matter. Click host server. From here, you want to go find the map that, you're, that you built your Eden editor on. You can go through all these. We, we did it on Altus. Green, it's really easy to find. Boom, vanilla Altus Zeus test. We're going to go restart, since I've done this in the past. Progress not saved, lose lost. Yep, that's okay. I'm going to lose my progress from my last mission. From here, I like to disable AI. If you guys are familiar with that, enabling AI means that I choose this Zeus slot. And then once the server started, these two guys are going to be playing. Um, however, if they die, if they you know get put in a weird position and they're halfway across the map, it won't be fun to actually spawn in that way. So I usually disable it that way. People can spawn right at that main spawn area. So we're going to click OK. We're in the Zeus slot. And then we're going to continue. We have that three-second countdown timer to respawn here. Boom, and we're in. So now we're going to press Y, bring up the Zeus interface. There we go, you can see all that. Now any new units you place down are going to have that obnoxious little, you know, blue tag over, but it does allow you to keep it, uh, you know, handy, keep track of all of them. With mods, you're able to re-add these guys to the Zeus interface. And I believe after uh, a couple of respawns, depending on your actual Arma, you know, software, they should pop up. So here is that air traffic control tower. We see no obnoxious yellow tab right there. Looks just like every other map asset right here. If we compare that to what you guys may or may not be familiar with in public Zeus, airport control tower right here. Boom, you have that obnoxious yellow tab which is nice if you want to keep moving stuff around, moving structures around, and deleting stuff for frame sake. However, it's not very pleasant when you have five different buildings you're placing down in a complex and trying to click, you know, a quick drag a whole squad of infantry that you just put in there to defend. So if I do a click drag right there, try to get these, and I move, oh, boom, my buildings are all moving. They're clipping. It's all weird. So now, boom, deleted. This thing's still there because I placed down the Eden editor. My guy's right there. What we'll do is test this out. We'll test out a death. We're going to run over here. Around the corner. And place a guy so they can shoot me. Or we can respawn. Either way, I like to just mess around. Make sure that we have a good, solid feel. making sure everything works as it, sh as it should. Boom. All right, so he's able to take me down with uh, you know, a full auto 6.5. That makes sense. It wasn't like he uh, one-shotted me in the head. Super nice. We're going to hold space bar, force respawn. Boom. We have the option to respawn at home base. And then once I place down further stuff in the Eden editor, if I go to my Y menu again, we'll delete him. I can then open this up, Arsenal, myself, Remote Control, Zeus. We can also go to Respawn. We can go to Loadouts. Boom, right there. We can then check mark whatever we want to load. If you guys have saved your own Arsenal loadouts like I have, I have a lot. i got to clean these up. Uh, if you have the, these mods set and you're ready to go, these are I kind of tag mine with V if they're vanilla. And then whoever responds in will be able to pick whatever you choose. So that's in basic how to set up your own vanilla Eden Editor Zeus mission. Thanks for watching.